Gather your GNG hack model B uh, 20 CV. This one is pretty incredibly rare. Sold out a long time ago. It tells you the date when it was made in 2020. So a couple of years ago. Look at that clip. Beautiful. It's so smooth and what's so cool about deadlocks, there is no wiggle. Any OTF knives, uh, pretty much all of them except this one, uh, have a little bit of play room. That's just nature of this kind of knives, not this one. And this one is just so beautiful, carbon fiber and look at that. Um, like treated steel to where it's like a, kind of like blue and yellow, that is nice. Then you got right here like bronze looking one, Deadlock 2021, um, this is Model B as well. Which one do you guys like better? A lot of people do enjoy dog blades, let's see. It's so smooth, um, I know I kind of like the other one better but it's your own preference, or just different color. And then you have um, Deadlocks. Model uh, C, you see, G and G Hack 2022. Both of them were made in 2022. This is nice, bit blasted. So this knife, this knife is actually going up more and more in value because it's highly desirable and it's hard to get one. They sell out pretty much instantly. So G and G Hack. Uh, which one do you guys prefer better, Model B or Model C? I kind of like Model C a little bit better because it's smaller, but for the collection, I would like to have both of them, that's for sure. The blade is pretty much the same. Kind of looking funky, like such a big handle and a like smaller blade. So, I, in my opinion, I like a little bit better. But you know what? Everybody have their own preference and such. Got it here, another vintage gravity knife check this out so you just push on this and it will fall in that's quite unique um, I never seen anything like that uh, definitely quite used and not look at that blade wiggle but that's just part of the um, nature of the knife but I really enjoy the vintage knives this is definitely one of a kind look at that yeah definitely needs some work done to it but yeah sometimes you cannot even find them they're so interesting and um, one of a kind sometimes it's prototypes too so and this is a miniature one. Oh, that one is like very good quality oh and there is no vegan well a little bit interesting this is why deadlocks are so popular there's no wiggle it's just perfection uh, so this one is a miniature one i never seen anything like that but there you go another gravity knife you can find the links in description if you're interested in the name and everything there's a brand of it next i got it here very stylish little box opener check this out red fox knives rot uh, this one is beautiful you have right here pry bar bottle opener, little wrench and obviously screwdriver so multiple uses for that and how do we open that okay just push that and lift it out so I guess push this and lift it out and you got it here box cutter blade um, push it up boom and it locks in beautiful and whenever you want to lock it back up just push it back in what I like about it it doesn't take a lot of space and it's definitely a keychain size look how skinny that is and you have a pry bar bottle opener and screwdriver here's probably most popular Microtech Sakoma Elite Auto tactical full serrated and there's a SKU number so Anytime they go for sale, they sell out really, really fast. This one right here is auto, you press it, so it's assisted. Do you see that kick? You really have to hold it, nice grip to it. That's how you would hold it, and look at that. 
The handle is really light. The blade is actually much heavier than the handle. Um, I guess to make the knife as light as possible. But the serial number 8321. So not a lot of them have been made. Sakoma Lit Auto 02 2023. Look at that. The blade is painted black here and here. Kind of nice accent. I really like that. The handle feels really good. The button. I know, but something about this full serrated uh, Sakoma Elite is really cool. Um, there is 8,000 of them, right? But some of them partially serrated, some of them not tanta, some of them like different shade of blades. So there's a lot less of full serrated ones. Uh, maybe like a couple hundred or so. Not really sure exact number, but these ones are really hard to find. So yeah, beautiful. One of the most popular Microtech knives out here. So comfortable to hold it this way. Mantis Gearhead, designed by G. G. Huck. And it's a gear head, so boom. And look how cool that is. This one is a miniature one, it's a newer one. You see how all the gears are spinning? And I think this side here is brass. And it's a liner lock, just push it in and unlock it. With the smaller knife, it does not have a protection bar. Uh, with the bigger one, there is a protection bar. So whenever you're working, there is a chance you might press it by mistake and it will close it. So that's what I kind of don't like about this smaller uh, gear heads. The older one, bigger ones, has a protective bar to where that will not happen. But what I do admire about this is a locking mechanism with a bunch of four gears inside of the one big gear. That's so cool. And you have a little trigger right here, just so unique. Here's a couple of Columbia Riva, very unique knives. Did you see this one is more of a sito? You press it right here and then slide it, and there's a rail. Um, how do you unlock it back? There's a button, you press it, and it releases it. And then it's going to lock back in. That is pretty unique. Lock it back in, have to use two hands, but if you want to grab the knife and uh, open it, you just press it and release it. So you can kind of do it one hand, but not the most comfortable way to do it with one hand. I just think it's a, a really cool mechanism. Boom.